Welcome to Streaming Deluxe, my name is Mr. Orange and in this video I will show you today the new library. So it's an open beta and you can participate there as well. Okay my friends, before we jump into the new library and we check out some of the functions, I would say that we check out actually the way how you get to this new library. So therefore you go on settings my friends. So and then you go on beta participation and you click on steam beta update. So this is very important. So you click here and then you're going to find the beta and then uh, you click OK. And then steam is starting again and you're subscribed to the beta, to the beta library, more specific. All right, so yeah, it. I would say it looks very nice. So I'm absolutely positive, surprised about this. So mostly if something new comes out, a new design, a new interface, I'm always a little bit critical since I'm a person of habit and I like, yeah, I just prefer my launcher like it has, uh, has been, uh, uh, 10 years ago so but of course it's always good to have some some new design I would say all right so this is now the home button if you click here on the home button you see here what's new and then uh, you see different news about games that you own or games you're following etc then you have the for example then here the next um, the next shelf is it's, it's called a shelf uh, you see your recent games, all the games that you recently played. For example, I played Witcher, I played Microtown. Uh, you find a video about Microtown. I'm going to make a video about Witcher soon. And then all the games that have been added to my library, for example, and that I haven't played yet. And for example, you see here all the games. You can click on the right uh, arrow. And then you're going to see all the games you played. And the awesome thing is that, for example, if you look at Aliens Colonial Marines that I played a bit, you see how much time you played the last two weeks and how much you played it in total. So I really like this new function and it's, it's a very nice design. So it's it's highlighted so the, the little thumbnail gets a little bit out, uh, uh, distracted from the, from the background. So this is really, really nice. Then we have a recent friend activity, so which games are trending. Of course, to play, two friends are playing at the moment Counter-Strike, Global Offensive, <laughs> then Rainbow Six, also one friend playing it at the moment. So you have here trending games, so mostly the games we all know. So Counter-Strike, Rainbow Six, Grand Theft Auto Five, of course. So <laughs> then here you can, you can create your own shelf. For example, with, um, games of the size on the discs so this is very very funny so okay is it not show ah create your own shelf and then i can yeah for example i ha i made one some some categories and then i can choose one of those categories for example and then i can create this shelf for example let's take uh, all my first person shooters so of course i have more than i stopped kind of using it so and now I sort them for example by the size on the disk and then you see if payday 2 has 55 uh, over 55 gigabyte and I think it's very interesting to finally see which are the biggest games which have the biggest size and then you can finally start erasing them if you need some space so all right so if you have uh, created your own first person shooters shell for example you can jump over to to another to the big let's say the big shelf where all your games are I have like 4054 uh, games on my shelf so that those are all games and now for example I can yeah I have the sorted out here uh, sorted by release date and then you see for example there's poop in my soup just released so uh, uh, actually I don't know how I got this game to be honest then Warhammer Dawn it's a beta hmm, also interesting so it's just a little bit weird so there are some games that have a release date now ah, okay some early access games or some games uh, that are received for review purposes and that are just now coming out so yeah awesome you see the release date really cool also then you always know which are a newer game that I want to play which is a game that I haven't uh, played yet and is a new game for example it's very 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 practical 
And then here we can also sort the games on again on size of the disk. And then for example, then you see that Assassin's Creed Odyssey is almost 100 gigabytes. So, so when I finish this game, uh, I will definitely, I will definitely, my friends, uh, erase this so get 100 gigabytes back. So Mortal Kombat also 71, uh, yeah, 71 gigabytes around. Women Tad, Warhammer 2, Kingdom Come, all games extremely big as you can see here. So, so there's a lot of space to to gain. So and then hours played. Hours played I also like a lot. So then you see for example at my the game that I played the most Ah, okay, sorry. Hours played on all of my games. Then you see my Call of Duty 455 hours and then that's my most popular game. I really love it. It's a great game. And then Skyrim, Infinite Warfare, Black Ops. And then, for example, on number six comes already Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And a fantastic game. Also, some other awesome games I really love a lot. So, I know some people are might might really dislike those games but i have a weird taste i i mostly like games that other people don't like so it's funny it's kind of funny i would say maybe i have a weird taste so <laughs> what i also like is the metacritic um uh way to sort games and then you see for example bioshock with 96 points extremely high and then it's yeah it's, it's interesting actually to go play those games that have a high meta score uh you, you might uh you might uh, discover a new game that you really like a lot, that you haven't played before a lot. I mean, how cool is this? So, for example, I can play now, or let's say I, I play a bit more uh, FEZ, so FETS, which I only played 63 minutes, so now I find out it's actually really highly rated, so yeah, I should play it a bit more, or Bayonetta, for example. I haven't played it yet, so just bought it once. Uh, have played yet and as you can see also actually interesting with the meta score critics they're mostly old games and the newer games don't get those high numbers anymore so these are really actually old games so except yeah friends of the auto or two of five so something has changed there in the perception of us gamers i would say friends playing also again you see most of the popular games all right, so now I would say let's jump then. So here you can then uh, your collection, you can create uh, some different collections. Uh, for example, then all my favorite games. Here I only see then my favorite games, which is also a very nice way to uh, sort games out. And I can also only see my favorite games that I, uh, that I have last played, which is also cool. So then I see Dishonored, The Witcher, Dishonored 2, Apsu, etc. Let's click, for example, on Witcher 3, my friends. And then we will see that uh, this is really amazing. You can see how much... Uh, here I see how many hours I played Witcher 3. Then I see how uh, when I was the last time that I played it. Then you can see here my achievements, which is also great. And which is very cool is the activity feed. So everything that is posted by your friends or by yourself about this game, you can see here at the activity feed. So for example, achievements, then uh, is someone writing something? If someone of your friends owns the game now, that may, may, might be really interesting for multiplayer games and then screenshots videos and all the community content which is really really awesome i really like this new feature you have everything now together so it's much easier to to click on videos it's much easier to see nice pictures and you can spend hundreds of hours actually with this function to be honest this is really really good then you can also hear my review for example on the right side you see your screenshots your review you're going to see your dlcs you see your trading cards or if you have a batch for example and then you're also going to see your achievements with a nice uh yeah with a nice uh, achievement uh, uh, bar you see how much you have already how many of your friends have it so it's extremely nicely made so i can definitely recommend this let's go for example on wolfenstein young blood no i don't have it here let's check out another game for example yeah the new honor for example also you see some see here a friend was getting a lot of achievements here a friend was sharing a video yeah 
all really really nicely made I would say really nicely nicely made so that's that's more or less I would say I would say this is more or less ah yeah that's maybe also interesting the the show only ready to play games so only games that you have installed and that are ready to play so then you can it's like yeah having games installed more or less or games that are available and then you can easily find a game that you want to play and here also you can search you can now search your games by for example using different uh, tags for example the genre the play state if it's only installed ready to play played so yeah ready to play is installed uh, then you have the difference with games that are installed on your computer locally so ready to play can also be in family share a game for example that you play then you can only search for vr games uh, games with trading cards games with achievements single player cop cooperative let's look for co-op games and then here yeah, all of those games seem to be then co-op games so if i want to play a co-op game then i choose one of those and then for example i go battle block theater and then I've tried to find a friend here who has this game well not those that have it on the wizard list but I found a friend here that has this game and then yeah and then I invite him to play this game so it's really really cool then we have yeah here you can click on stop page community help find groups discussions guides workshops support everything there and here also you have some you can see it's full controller support on the right side cooperative play multiplayer single player and here you can manage this, you can hide this game, you can add a short desk, shortcut for the desktop, you can uninstall it here, you can add it to your different categories, etc. And then show more details, it's also interesting, so you see again all those icons on the upper right side, you see then here on the right side in the special, um, uh, in the special uh, part of the screen. You see the developer, the publisher, you have a nice link to Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, so there's a lot of information so you can spend quite some time for your with your favorite games actually, you can squ spend definitely some time uh, with those new functions. If we look for example on Earthfall, then we see yeah, then you see here my my uh, achievements. So listed to the achievements that the least people of the players have. So the most uh, rare ones. This is also cool. So you can uh, show off a little bit with your achievements. And then you also see how many of the achievement, how many percentage of the players have already the achievement that you don't have yet. So this is also I think a really nice new way. And then here, for example, the uh, the cards and then you can click on the cards that's also new and then you see finally very very fast before it was always loading yeah, it's extremely long you see the cards and then you can also see comments on it so this is this is definitely very cool or you click here on the pictures and then you can see date dimension so for example if you think you want to have this as a background then you can download it and uh, therefore the dimensions might be interesting for the resolution of your screen and then here for example I have a yeah I have my review so I can read the review uh, can't click actually on those links from from the YouTube video so you have actually done to to check out the review on the store page here one of my friends was posting a picture recently easily you can just click on it and then it opens no. Should open no it's not open directly takes some loading time okay but very very cool so you see a picture of some friend posted this and then you can also see here the comments and you can write directly yourself a comment so cool pick so it's all very very simple very easy and extremely extremely cool and you can also here directly watch watch some of the YouTube videos with very good great quality for example here you see one of my videos uploaded <laughs> to Earthfall and and it starts immediately so that's very cool actually you see here my youtube video there's another youtube video from me 
and that's so cool. So I definitely think people are going to watch much more YouTube videos or going to watch much more community content, uh, pictures and YouTube, or, or artworks, etc. Since it's just when they just, uh, yeah, just idling a bit, looking uh, at, at their favorite game. So that's definitely very cool, this new feature. So of course, it also depends a little bit on your yeah, let's say it depends on, uh, of course, on your, on your, on your, on your internet, uh, 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 how fast your internet is, sorry, and, but, yeah, normally in the most Western countries, you should have nowadays very fast internet, this, that which can handle very easily uh, this new Steam client, but I'm sure they're also working on it to make it uh, maybe also more. Uh, optimized uh, better performing performing uh, for for low internet connection so you don't need to have the highest internet connections all right so I think that's it those are the most important information about the new steam library beta open beta so you can easily join it now and you can be part of it so I think it's very cool so I definitely like it and this makes the Steam client again really, really cool. So it was getting a bit old, but those new functions are definitely worth trying out. And it works very stable, so you don't have to be afraid uh, that it's going to crash all the time or you will have problems with playing games. I think it, for me now, it works stable. So since yesterday, so I definitely like it. All right, my friends, I'm leaving this short video here. I wish you a wonderful day. See you the next time.